of uh, your four sessions. I'm Elaine and this is Oila. Just to let you know, we're going to be using a stick today, so if you can pause the video and run and get something like this, just a broomstick or any kind of brush or anything, and um, we'll get started. It's lovely. So, centre of the feet onto the foot bar, two red springs, and we're just going to start walking in and out. Heel down, well done. Brilliant. And we'll hold it there for another five, four, three, two, and one. That's it. We're just going to go back into the walk and action again. We drop the knee down nice and low. That's it. Get a little bit further now each time. Well done. for the last time now. Try to get a little bit further than we did the first time. Well done. Feel that stretch. That's it, now that we're right here, no bouncing on the stretch at the end. Well done. And we'll hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. And we'll switch over. Well done. Okay. 
Then it goes to another five, four, three, two, and one. Brilliant. Just bend the knees to bring the carriage back in towards the stopper. And we'll go down to one right spring now for the bridges. Okay. Excellent. Well done. When we're ready now, we're going to take our time. Centre the feet onto the foot bar. Feet hip distance apart, knees apart, that's it. And we're going to push up into our nice high bridge. Well done, lovely Orla. And then slowly come back down to the carriage, that's it. Breath to bring, my breath to bring. Well done. Brilliant. So we're going to go for 10 here. That's it. So see when Orla gets up to the top, nice straight line from shoulders, hips, knees. Well done. And five more. Two more. Well done. Up for the last one and hold it up there. That's it. So keep the hips up as high as you can. Straighten the knees to push back and come back in for ten. Nine. Make sure to take a nice deep breath when you're in this relaxed position before we go into our last set of bridge exercises. That's it, we'll just stay here for the five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Well done. Pop the left foot back onto the foot bar, centre the feet on the bar, feet, our knees, hip distance apart. That's it. We're going to push up into the bridge for the last time. Hold it up there. Walk the right foot over to the centre of the bar and take the left foot off. Well done. And we're going to go in and out of the squat. When we come back in, kick the leg out over the foot bar. Well done. Brilliant. And we're just on that one right spring. Excellent. Turn the bone for another six. Bring the left foot back. 
half to the foot back, and we're going to go in and out with the left leg on the back, and the right leg on the foot back, or back to the chest each time. Well done. That's it. Keep the knees up as high as you can. Then want to drop down lower to the carriage. Right, so keep breathing. That's it. And we're going to go for three, two, and one. Excellent. Keep the hips up. We're just going to bring that right leg straight down to foot back. So up and down for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and last one. Well done. Bring the foot back and slowly lower yourself back down to the carriage. Throw the knees out over the foot bar now, and we're just going to hold in behind the right knee and we're just going to straighten and bend that knee. Bring the toe down towards the opposite top. Well done. Just get a nice stretch of the hamstrings after doing all those bridges. Well done. We'll just go for another three. And last one, well done. Slide the hands up to the back of the calf there on that right leg and bring the head up towards the knee. Lovely. Toes down, that's it. Just get more of a stretch into the hat trick. And we'll hold it there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done. Relax the right knee there. We're going to hold it behind the left knee and just straighten and bend that left knee. Well done, bring the toes down towards you at the top. That's it. And we'll just do another five, four, three, two, and last one. Keep the foot where it is, slide the hands up to the back of the calf. That's it, just bring the knee up towards, the head up towards the knee, toes down. Well done, and we'll hold it there for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Relax the left knee out over the foot bar again and bring the feet to the foot bar. That's it. Lovely. We're going to reach back now and pop. Oh, yeah. So just take your time to come back up and we're going to pop on the blue spring as well. So then you're on one red and one blue. And we're going to pop the feet into the, the right foot into the right big loop and leave the left foot just over, the left strap just over the body. Well done. Start by bringing both knees into the chest. Sorry. <laughs> That's it. So kick the left foot straight out over the foot back. That's it. <laughs> and we're going to switch. So bring the left knee into the body, kicking the right one out over the foot back. Well done. So nice and slow, same pace in and out. That's it. Remember, keep with that back flat on the carriage. We don't want you to arch up and keep the tummy muscles engaged while we're done. And we'll go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done. Bring your left foot back to the foot bar. That's it. I'm just bending the right knee in to, get in that, to take the strap off the right foot. Leave the right strap over your chest and put your left foot into the big loop. That's it. Start to get both knees into the chest. Kick the right leg straight out over the foot bar and then switch. So left foot straight, right leg comes into the chest. Well done. Brilliant. This is a really good signal leg exercise to get more strength in this leg. That's it. the chest and pop the big leaf onto the right foot again. That's it. We're going to straighten out both feet to the foot back and draw nice big circles out nice and wide. Feet meet at the top and then push straight down. Well done. Join 
down from top down, we're just going to change direction. So going hands in circle down to the side, feet in each other, bottom right foot back, straight up and out to the side again. Towards the ceiling, keep the right foot where it is and drop the left foot out to the side. The left leg falls out to the side. Well done. Get a nice stretch in the inside of the left leg. If you want to get more of a stretch into the hamstring, bring the right toes down and lift your toe onto the rope. Just get a bit more of a stretch there to the back of the legs. That's it. Well done. And we'll hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two and one, well done. Just bend both knees into the chest, just take the stretch off the legs for a moment. Well done, and when we're ready again, we're going to push both feet up towards the ceiling. Keep the left leg where it is and drop the right one out to the side. That's it, just get a nice stretch in the inside of the right leg. Left toes down towards your face and a little tug onto the rope to get more of a stretch if you feel like you need it. That's it, and we'll go here for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. We're going to do our last two exercises here now with the feet into the straps. So what we're going to do is allow the lower back to come way up off the carriage this time. So if you start by straightening the feet out over the foot bar, bending the knees into the chest, allowing the feet up to the ceiling, the lower back up off the carriage, onto your shoulders, Feet straight up and then pushing the feet straight down towards the foot bar, nice and slowly that we're engaging the core, working the core the whole way down. That's it. Well done, Ola. Lovely. So it's a good workout for the core here, but it's a nice stretch just to get into the lower back as well. So if you have the core switched on there, you're just going to slap down onto the carriage. Well done. And just do two more in that direction or that. Start position with the feet out there. Both feet come up towards the ceiling, the lower back rises off the carriage, bend the knees down to the chest and slowly allow the lower back down onto the carriage. That's it. Well done. So all these movements are slow and controlled. Brilliant, well done. And we're going to our last one here now. Take your time then to bring the knees into the chest and to pop the straps off the feet. That's it. Bring the feet back to the foot bar, shimmy it away from the shoulder pads a little bit. And you can keep the straps in your hands because we're going to pop our hands into small loops. That's it. Well done. And we're going to oh, pop them. Yeah, we're going from there. So take the feet off the foot bar into our tabletop position, that's it, and we're slowly going to bring the hands down towards the pockets and back up, that's it. Just still get more up here, well done for the tabletop exercises, well done. You can see here Ola has a perfect position with the hips and the knees at 90 degrees, well done. The back is flat on the carriage and the tummy muscles engaged. Really lifting the chin to the chest and the shoulders off the carriage, and just go for another two and one. Well done. Stay up there in that nice high crunch position. So come back up there with your hands by the pockets. That's okay. Kick both feet out over the foot bar together and back into tabletop, and we'll go in and out for ten. That's it. So we don't want the stomach muscles to dome up here. Well done. Remember, belly button to spine. 
pounds, but we hold the five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Keep the left foot over the foot bar and drop the right foot under the foot bar. And we're going to switch. So we're going to go under and over every second one. All right, that's it. Well done. So if you're feeling a strain in the neck now, don't be worried about dropping the head back to the carriage. That's okay. Well done. And we'll go for three, two, and one. Well done. Bring both feet straight out over the foot back and we're just going to flutter them up and down every second one. That's it. Well done. Keep breathing. Get a break after this. So we'll go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Well done. Bring the feet back to the foot bar. Rest the hands up here by the shoulders and rock the knees from left to right. Well done. Excellent. So we're just going to take the blue off then to go to one red spring. Very good. And we're going to go into kneeling position. Just kneel up against the shoulder pads, but even spread the knees back a little bit from the shoulder pads. Well done. We're going to walk the hands out onto the traps, and as far out, that's it. We're going to use the tummy muscles now to pull ourselves forward. So we're holding gently there with the fingers, that's it. Put a nice box position here, hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips. Well done. Holding the core, the arms nice and steady. We're just going to rock forward the back of the hips and the knees. That's it. So the carriage is going to come up towards the back of the wrist. That's it. Well done. Just a small movement here. Really work with the core, holding the arms nice and strong. Well done. And we'll go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done. Slowly allow the carriage to come back down towards the stopper. That's it. Just sit back onto the heels here. Keep the hands out onto the trap and drop the head down between the elbows. That's it. Lovely. Just feel a nice stretch into the lower back and take the strain off the core. That's it. And just hold them there for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Come back up into that kneeling position. That's it. We're going to walk the hands out onto the track for the last time. Well done. Lightly go down with the fingers. Pull yourself forward with the core. That's it. This time the core of the hips and the knees stay steady. We'll just go forward. The back is just rolling the shoulders. Nice small movement here. That's it. Well done. And we'll go for ten. Nine. The bigger we make this movement, the harder it's going to be just on the core of the arms. Well done. Six. the heels and bring both hands to the left trap. That's it. Drop the head down between the elbows and drop that right shoulder down just to really feel the stretch along the right side of the body. Well done. Go to hold it here for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Well done. Just walk the hands over to the right side of the trap. That's it. Drop the head between the elbows and drop that left shoulder down to feel the stretch along the Left side of the body. Brilliant. And we'll hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Just come back up into kneeling and staying on that one red spring. We're going to come back down to the bottom part of the carriage. So keep your knees up to the carriage, that's it. Well done. So shimmy down so that your feet will be up against the timber. It. Well done. And the hands are going to rest down by the side of the shoulder pads. So again, we want the hands, yeah, we want the knees under the hips. So just come up all onto your hands, that's it. And we're going to hold on to the left and big loop like this. So bring it in. Well done. Keeping the elbow in by the side, we're just going to straighten the hand back to the hip. 
that's it. And just bending from the elbow coming forward, well done. So again, trying to keep that back nice and flat, tummy engaged. Brilliant. So you might find that you're struggling a small bit with this. Make sure that your knees are under your hips, that they're not further forward. That's it, and we'll go number six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one, that's it. Well done, brilliant. Pop that left strap back onto the peg, and we'll do the same then. Hold on to the right big strap. That's it. Well done. Elbow in by the side, keep it occluded to the side, just straighten then from the elbow back to the wrist, up to the hip. That's it. Well done. Perfect. And we'll go for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. back into the stopper. That's it. So keep the hands down there. We're just going to go to our cat cabin stretch. So arch the back up to look back to the knees and flatten the back to look forward. Lovely. Well done. That's it. Just get a nice movement in and out. You don't have to hold it at the top or the bottom. That's it. Very good. And we'll just do a few more of these. We're just going to stick off the carriage for a second. Pop on your one bling spring. So take your red spring off. That's it. And we're going to get our stick. So we're going to go into sitting. So we're going to pop the foot bar the whole way down to the lowest. Sit at the bottom end of the carriage. That's it. And we're going to pop the stick there only if you do it into the small lengths of the straps. Just make sure you've got equal distance kind of either side. Well done. So bring it nice and wide, that's it. Hands at the outside of the straps, well done. So Orla has the back of her face in the ceiling. She's going to bring the hands back towards the body and lower her body down, that's it. And then coming up, that's it, slowly. Well done. So this is a really tough one here for the core. Well done, brilliant. That's it. So remember to keep breathing nice deep breaths in and out. Well done. So the palm of your hand will be facing the ceiling. So we're going to come back down and we're going to go lying there and just go with the arms. Just do the bicep curl, but holding the core really strong. Well done. Brilliant. And we'll go for six. Five. Four. Three. Two, that's it, well done. Leave it to the front and last one, well done. Just come up a little bit, that's it. We're going to take a wider grip off of the stick now, palm and hands facing up. We're going to come back a little bit, so not the whole way back down, that's it. And we're going to tip the stick to the left and to the right, well done. So really work on the side of the six pack there, the oblique muscles, that's it, well done. And this is very tough actually, the other two exercises. Well done, we'll go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Super, well done, Marla. So just pop your um, glute back off the stick, pop it back onto the pegs, that's it. And just leave the stick by the side of the carriage, and we're going to come up off the carriage. Brilliant. 
staying on the one blue spray to make this plant a bit harder, we're going to pop our red mat in between the timber and the foot bar. That's it. Very good. And we're going to come back into kneeling, so face down to the wall. So we're going to have the knees on the bottom third of the carriage, the toes will curl around the timber and the red mat. That's it. And we're going to come down after our four hours in between the shoulder pads. Lovely. Well done. Just take your time now. We're going to push the arms forward and slowly lift the knees up off the carriage, holding on to the toes. That's it. Holding that nice plank position out there. See the height of Orla's hips there are in line with her shoulders. And we'll hold it for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Well done. Slowly bring the carriage back in, drop the knees down to the carriage. You have it now, so you know what we're going to do for the next few exercises, just to make that a little bit harder. So again, four arms there in between the shoulder pads. And we're going to push ourselves forward. That's it. Holding it out there now. Keep the core and the hips nice and steady. We're just going to rock forward and backwards just with the shoulders. Well done. Again, it's just a small movement, but it makes it much tougher on the core. And we'll go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done. Drop the knees back down. Just sit up to the heels again. Have the hands forward. Drop the head between the elbows. Just get a nice breathe. Give the core a rest before we do our next few plank exercises. That's it. Well done. Ready to go again. We're going to pop the hands down between the shoulder pads again. Toes curl around the timber and push out into that nice plank. This time keeping the arms core nice and strong. We're just going to take one leg off the timber at a time. That's it. Well done. So lean all your weight onto the opposite leg and take the leg off. Brilliant. So trying, trying to keep the body and the trunk as strong as we can. Brilliant. And we'll go for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Well done. Slowly bring the knees back down to the couch. Just take a minute here. That's it. We're going to do our last plank exercise now. These are tough, especially if you're a lot with the core and the arms already. That's it. So when you're ready, we're going to push forward onto the forearms again, taking the knees off the carriage. That's it. Hold it nice and strong with the hips and the core. We're going to lean all our weight onto the left forearm to bring the right hand up onto the carriage. Lean all the way onto the right hand to bring the left hand up. Well done. Back down onto the right forearm and the left forearm. Just go up and down, in and out of that. Well done, great. So it's going to be moving from the hips, just try to make it as little as possible. Well done, really, really strong. That's brilliant. Well done, so just go in and out a few of these. We are on the lightest spring here, so there's a lot of movement in the carriage. Well done, and back down, lovely. Up and down for the last time. That's it, and drop the knees down to the carriage nice and slowly. Well, just take a breather here, sit back up to the that exercise there. We're going to come onto our hands, that's it. So toes curl around the timber, and we're going to push forward. Well done, that's it. Keeping the core nice and strong, we're just going to bend the knees. That's it, so the carriage comes in and out. Lovely, well done. Not much movement there in the lower back. Bring it really strong then with the arms and the core. And we'll go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, that's it. And our last one, well done. Slowly come back down to the carriage. That's it. Just take a moment here. And we're going to take your time to come up to our very last exercise. So if you take time standing off the carriage, keep the red mat where it is and bring the red mat to the end of the carriage. And we're going to go on to um, two red sprints for this. Okay, well done. So just 
these are going to be our lunges. So we're going to step back to the timber first and then bring our right leg back. That's it. So we'd be facing down. Lovely. Well done. So left foot up to the timber. If you want to curl your right toes around the carriage, do it now. That's it. Lovely. Just get used to that resistance, push it back. That's it. Just get used to it. Well done. When you're ready, then we're going to go into our lunge. So bend to go ease, drop with the hips down and come up nice and tall. That's it. Well done. Just pick a point to stare at. Brilliant. And we'll go for another five, four, three, two, and last one. That's it. Well done. Keep the feet where they are on the mat, and we're going to put our last exercise with the left foot in front. So we're going to keep the bend in the left knee. Put all the weight onto that just to start with, and then we're going to set fire and back with the right leg. That's it. So you can add in the hand here, like for the hand, and keep them sprinting. Well done. So we really start to feel the burn now in the glutes. Well done. And we're going to send a big strong one. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Well done. You can just bring the right foot up to the timber, shake the leg down. Few nice deep breaths, and when you're ready, then keep the right foot on the timber, left foot back to the carriage, toes curled around. Just get used to the resistance you have there now with the other leg. That's it. And when you're ready, we're going to go into a nice deep lunge. So bend your both knees, drop the hips down. That's it. So pick a point again to stare at. Tough on the balance here. Well done. And we'll go with for another six, five. Four, three, two, and last one, that's it. Well done, brilliant. Come back up, keep the left foot where it is. This time we're going to keep the bend on the right knee and just drive back with that left hip. Well done. And the bend the opposite arm go forward. Done, and we'll go for eight big strong ones. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Well done, brilliant. Take your time to step off the carriage. All this last one on the timber. Well done. So that's it done. And we're just going to do a little cool down as always. So pop the red spring, eat our red mat on the side of the springs, and just have your one blue spring on. And we're going to come back up to the highest. That's it. So you start on the left side. Just keep your left foot on the mat, right foot up to the shoulder pad. That's it. And you're pushing back, keep the front knee bent. Push it back. And coming in and out of that stretch. And down. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Just hold it back there again as much as you're able. Brilliant. And we'll hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Come back up. This time push back. Keep the front knee straight and the toes down. Come back out to that stretch. Front knee straight and toes up. Well done. Brilliant. Just rock in and out of those two. There now, it goes down and put the feet straight. Well done, and you hold it for five, four, three, two, and one, and relax. And last time, front knee straight and toes up. Well done, and we hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. That's it. We'll switch over now to the same on the other side. Good. So, right foot on the mat. Push it back and just go in and out of that nice deep hip stretch. Yes. Well done. And next time we're just going to hold it back there. That's it. Good. Now we'll go for the five, four, three, two, and one. 
one minor, come on back up. This time we'll push the back, keeping the front knee straight, toes down, come on up, front knee straight and toes up. Now we're done. Using our toes. Toes down and knee straight. Hold that stretch there for five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. Push it back and toes up. Well done. For five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Well done. The first one stretches any longer. You can do it now. But that's it. Lovely. That was all That's brilliant. That was really good. Yeah, that was hard. <sighs> That was good. Now, there's just no way I'm not going to do this yeah. at all. Uh, have you done it that? Yeah. And yeah. I, I, I don't want the thing. Yeah. How did you find it? Oh, well, all right. Then. And then I was like, I was having a fall. I thought this shoulder was going to go. That's brilliant. Well done. Mother and Laura, do you know what we've done then? Yeah. They did it last night. Well done. Yeah.